All right, welcome back. We're still playing Pokemon. Woo woo. <laughs> Shoot me. Woo. Um, we did get a comment on this series recently that nice. was just like, keep up the good rook. I really love this game. I don't think he's going to stick around for long. Uh, <laughs> Dude, we've got a couple subscribers. We have. We've gotten quite a few subscribers. We're at, uh, last time I checked was 86. Yeah, 186. 186, which, hey, appreciate it. Love you all for the ride. You guys are always fucking great. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. As they say on the yub tubs. Likes, comment, and subscribe. D's nuts. Oh! I fucking got him. Oh! oh, shit. God, I'm funny. I should be deleted from this life. <laughs> that can be arranged. <laughs> Thank you. Please do. I had some woman say to me yesterday, the other day. She was just like, I got three things. Because, like, anything else I can do for you today. I got three things. I need a million dollars. Okay. I need my body from back from when I was 16, uh-huh. and I need my ex-husband to disappear from my life. And I looked at her and I said, I think we can get one of those things. <laughs> I think we can do one of those at least. We'll just have to keep it on the down low. Mm-hmm. And she was just like, she fucking lost and she <laughs> laughed her ass off. I was just like, I don't think that was the response she was expecting. <laughs> no, definitely not. Well, Derek, you're supposed to be a proper employee. No. And you definitely, so they're not expecting that. Uh, uh, did, I, did I ever tell you that's my favorite thing to do with like Walmart employees or like cashiers at like big businesses? I immediately walk up to them and I'm just like, "Hey, how's it going?" And they're just like, "Oh, it's going good." I'm like, "Don't lie to me." They're like we all know this jump sucks. They they always laugh because <laughs> I say it like quietly, hush hush, so the man like the manager's listening. Like, don't lie to me. We all know this jump fucking sucks. Come on. <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, well." <laughs> oh, it's true though. <laughs> Derek, wait up, I'm getting lost. <laughs> Dude, I didn't notice your fucking guy does, like, the fucking Superman. Yeah, yeah, he's Superman's out of there. It, that's why his planet needs him. He has to go now. Daddy, please? You know what? It's funny. We walked into this building, and I was like, when we were in this town, I was like, where the fuck are we? Is this fucking Lavender Town? Yep. Is that supposed to be the, like... The ghost tower. The ghost tower? And then we, like, walked in, and I'm like, oh, okay, it is the ghost tower. I know where we are. <laughs> It's hard to tell where we are, because we haven't had to use the map to fly, which means I have no jurisdiction logic of, like, where I am on the map. So, <laughs> soon-ish, we're, we're gonna like, fly. We're down by that area that is, like, all water in the remakes. Correct. But I don't think it is in this game. No, it is all water, pretty is much. It, is it? Well, is it, like, all piers? Yeah. In the remake, they made it, like, piers. Yeah. I don't know if they still did that. Okay, so we're, like, close to that, then. Dude, they changed up Biker Road. The Biker Road. Yes. On I this remake. And I was just like, it. I don't know how to feel about that. It's no longer a bunch of bikers sitting on this thing being like, hey, this is our territory. It also, does it still force you downhill? No. If you stop pushing in a direction? No. Then it sucks and I hate it. That was like the worst thing about that. Is that like, as soon as you went on that map, it would just full speed you down the fucking hill. <laughs> Unless you held up. Yeah, unless you held up. And then you could occasionally walk and, upwards. And, and then you would slowly bike up it. Or Did you, you could... need a bike to go on that route? Yeah, no, you literally couldn't get off the bike. Like, you you were stuck on the bike. And, like, if you went down the hill, like, onto the hill part of the, of the route, it would just push you downhill at, like, Mach 2. Like, it's... <laughs> Into yeah. trainers and shit. And yeah. then you, like, miss a trainer, and you'd have to, like, fucking be like, fuck, it's shit, and, like, slowly bike back up the hill, like, losing all your stamina, to like, talking up, be like, hey, we still gotta fight. <laughs> I need a Pokemon now! Oh, God, I need some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game, this is this game. Pokemon is weird. Do, 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 do. So, the new Pokemon game... Yeah. Is, I forget if we talked about this on this already, but it's supposedly going to be set in, like, Portugal and Spain. Ah, my two favorite countries. Which I'm like, okay. Okay. And you've seen the three starters, right? Right? Um, yeah, the first ones. The, the cat, the derpy-ass uh, crocodile, yeah, 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 and yeah, the yeah. Uh, Donald Duck Duck. Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know which one I'm partial to. I kind of, I like the grass one because 
the grass little cat thing is okay. It's the cat thing, yeah. but I really like the derpy ass crocodile. I know you really like the derpy ass crocodile, but for me, the choice is very obvious. Which is? It's the fucking cat. <laughs> it's cat, I know. <laughs> so I have a soft spot for cats, though. I tend to really like having cats in Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. So if we play through it, if we get it and we play it. On the show, we'll probably pick that as the starter. Yeah. Depending on what the other forms look like. Yeah, I mean, we can do whatever. Uh, I don't care. I'm assuming that the cat's gonna evolve into, like, a bigger cat, and then it's gonna evolve into some sort of sexy Female fucking cat, cat Pokemon. <laughs> like all Pokemon <laughs> starters do now. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted, what I got, and it's, like, Incineroar is, like, it, as it evolves into, like, a giant tiger, and then it's, like, what I got, and it's Incineroar is a weird, like, muscular man cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. Also, in Cinnamon, short as shit, he's like barely over five feet tall. Like, he's just tiny. <laughs> I don't understand it, man. <laughs> I don't get it. Bop, bop. Yeah, it's it's weird, man. Oh, let me use Brick Break. Whoops, <laughs> went down screen. one too many. <laughs> it's all good. God, I gotta stop playing this game with my index finger, not my thumb. <laughs> I keep doing it, it keeps fucking me up. That's alright, Derek killed it. I got, I, I'm here for the team, guys. And nothing of value was lost that day. <laughs> yep. You didn't lose an, uh, You didn't lose a thing on Brick Break, so you know, you're all good. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. We'll need no, that no, I against will, the guys. I, I will lose a smoke screen, though, if she has another Pokemon. Nope, she doesn't. But she doesn't, so I don't lose a smoke screen. <laughs> That's how this works. Weird. She's kind of cute. I'd put her in the Smash category. <laughs> she looks of age. That's unusual for Pokemon. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's a little weird that... I do like the design of the Ace Trainers. Yeah, I always like the Ace Trainers. They always look cool. Daddy, please. This is where I buried my meowth. It's like, what? I'm like, what? This is where we put the radicate. <laughs> Unfortunately, all evidence proves that it's definitely not what he did. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh it's my a, god, it's, it's a, a hand! It's a hand! From Pokemon 1! It's a ghost! It's a g g Me, me! Are we not gonna have a battle with it? Oh, oh yeah, we can't fucking fight in this game. Yeah, it makes sense that they can't let us do that. Thank you, mysterious Cubone. <laughs> the fuck was that about? <laughs> you know, the Cubone has my favorite. Actually, Ghost has my favorite glitch, which yeah? is that uh, if you get into a fight with Ghost, you can just throw a Pokeball at it because it automatically will escape yes. the battle. Yes. Yes. And like, if you do, the game just doesn't know what the fuck to do about it. <laughs> I always loved that. <laughs> So we can't battle the ghosts, but we can battle these guys because they're not ghosts. Well, yeah. Does that make sense? No, it's because they're ghost trainers. We can't fight Pokemon. Unless they're owned by trainers. Only cockfighting is allowed in this Pokemon game. Thank you. And what I also love is, in this area, we have the goat, we have the Pokemon we can catch. You don't realize how big fucking Ghastly and Haunter are yeah. until they're in the overworld, and you're like, holy shit, these things are humongous. Yeah, they're big, man. It's a giant ball of spooky energy, Derek. Oh! What did you think it was going to be? Tiny? <laughs> Foolish. Ah, the original Hex Maniac. Not as hot as the later Hex Maniacs, but hey, you know, I can't, I'm beggars can't be choosers, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> tell me how you really feel, Chris. Uh, the end. It's tell me how you really feel. <laughs> I'm, or, you, I'm one with the ghost. It's tell me how you really feel. I feel like Gen Six Hex Maniac is the peak of the Hex Maniacs, <laughs> and I don't think it's ever gonna get as good <laughs> as I that ever which one again. You're talking about, yeah, you know the one because it's the one that has all the porn. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that has all the Rule Thirty Four now. They're all Hex Maniacs, Derek. But only one of them has Rule 34 now. <laughs> it's, it's the one that won the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's everyone's favorite from that generation. <laughs> oh, dude, I love it. Ba -da 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 That's how it goes, right? I'm not thinking of a totally separate video game from a completely different generation of consoles, right? I don't know, man. 
It's a uh, it's Castlevania. It's the yeah. end of the castle theme. I showed <laughs> I showed someone of the um uh die monster one, but it's the one that it's like the 3D animation. Oh, the one super, that, like, that one's so good. Yeah. And I was showing somebody that, and she's just like, "The fuck do you watch? <laughs> How did you even find this?" And I'm just like, "Yes, yes." <laughs> the answer is yes. So if we run into the ghosts. They shoot us back oh. to floor one. Well, that's incredibly unfair, considering the fact that it embedded itself inside your spleen. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a ghost, I would take over people's bodies. Yes. Make them do terrible things. Because, like, I'm dead, I have no repercussions, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's an entire genre of pornography about that, Chris. <laughs> oh, thank God, I was, I was getting worried that there wouldn't be. <laughs> My favorite uh, subgenre of porn that's weird and messed up is the time stop ones. You know, the ones where they can ta stop time for a period and then bring it back to normal. Those I ones, know. those ones are weird. Those ones are weird, but I always gotta give them props for the writing because they come up with some fucking scenarios for those. Yeah. Some of the weirdest, like, why would this be happening? <laughs> I I actually know exactly which ones you're talking about. <laughs> And they do have the funniest fucking writing. <laughs> it's like, there's some of them are really funny, but they're also really weird. Oh, I'm back. Fun. My planet no longer needed me. I fucking do love that. So it's because it's just like... I guess we're just done with the ghost town. Yeah, we can't continue. Oh, okay. Yet. Fair enough. But it's just so funny because I do love those ones. He's now vigorously masturbating. I got him back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon. Oh, good. For a second, I thought she was talking about my dick. It's <laughs> <laughs> getting worried. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The whore class. I remember it fondly. <laughs> Dude, she's a... She's got a fairy type Pokemon. <laughs> she's a yeah, she's a beauty. <laughs> Pokemon trainer Milf. She has challenged you to combat. <laughs> <laughs> Working class woman has challenged you to combat. <laughs> I was fucking like I, I think I read that on something this is at some point, God knows how many years ago. <laughs> Hmm, what's it gonna use? Yeah, maybe it was a Pokemon My Ass Edition, which was just that Pokemon mod that just made everything, like, really ridiculous. Yes. Uh, uh, content-wise. Oh, thank God I'm asleep. God damn it, I still have to hit fight, though? Ugh, what the fuck? I'm asleep! Let me sleep! <laughs> I didn't want to go to bed! I, for I forgot I still have to pick things when I'm sleeping. I'm gonna run to the Pokemon Center after this. Why? You don't want us to be asleep forever? Okay, fine. I'll just switch your Pokemon. No, I want to just be asleep. <laughs> You'll still have to play. But I can play while I'm asleep. Okay. In other words, here, take this controller. I'm going to just take a cat nap. Okay. Don't forget to be entertaining, Derek. Nighty night. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, lay down. <laughs> I don't have the ability to control two bodies with one mind. <laughs> That's just because you're not trying hard enough. We're going to 3D print you a jig, Derek, that links these two together, and then you just move the centerpiece. I almost do, looked do. legitimately I, lost. I thought this was a Pokemon battle, so I was just mashing A to fight it and didn't... I almost this. had the Joy-Con slip out of my hand there. <laughs> Derek, that would have been so bad, especially if it hit something that I own, because everything I own is expensive. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Uh, I love that when Derek first got the Switch, he was like, here, use the wrist strap for safety, for, because I don't want to break my controllers, and now we're like, you know, a year into owning the Switch, and he's just like, three. Hey, and now Derek's just like, no straps, no sliders, almost throws his own controller, YOLO, <laughs> YOLO swag. <laughs> Let's be honest, you realize that it's not very important to save the likelihood and the safety of your controller. When you know it's just going to get Joy-Con drift in like three weeks and it's not going to fucking matter. I've already sent my, both my Joy-Cons back <laughs> once to get them repaired. I still haven't had Joy-Con drift. Yeah. Um, I don't play the Switch that much, though. 
<laughs> so and when I do play it, I tend to use the D-pad. <laughs> yeah. So my girlfriend also has had to now send her Joy Cons back, which I'm like, okay. Which is sense. funny. That's some funny shit. Yeah. Which is very funny to me. I told you, Derek, you should fix your own Switch controllers. Take them apart. Learn how put to put do pennies it. in there, and then put it back together. Apparently, it works. Yeah. Oh or, no! Wait, that was the 360. Or I can just have Nintendo do it because they had a class action lawsuit against them. <laughs> did you hear? Actually, did you know about that? Actually, uh, that maybe. the the best way to fix the Red Ring of Death, according to a lot of people, which is not true. But let's let's pretend they're Air right. Air quotations. Okay. Um, was that you could fix it by wrapping two pennies in electric tape, like electrical tape, and cramming them in between the heat sinks. And the chips. This sounds like a terrible idea. And I'm like, no. This I mean... Is, this sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm like, no. That's probably making it worse, <laughs> if anything. I'm no I'm no tech person. I'm like, I'm kind of a tech person. I understand enough well, about that stuff. But I'm no, like, machinist. But at least I know that's not a no... That's a no bueno, guys. It's, it's like, the point of a heat sink is to dissipate heat from the chip. What you're doing is making an insulator with the tape. Yeah. Between the chip and yeah. the thing. Um, you're putting metal there, which can heat up and stay warm because it's metal. <laughs> yeah. I mean... I'm like, I guarantee you that whatever you're doing is probably just going to make you worse. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but that sounds then, about right. And then everyone was just like, see, they could have fixed their heating problem if they just did this. I'm like, no, their problem was cooling. Yeah. It's like, really, it's because they didn't put enough room for a fan in there that was reasonable sized enough to keep the console cold. But, fuck you, we're, we know what we're talking about because we're on the internet. Yeah, pretty much. I, personally, honestly, if you want to get a fat 360, you're an idiot, just buy a slim. It does the exact same fucking thing and it will work for much longer. But, if you do want to get a fat 360 and you want that shit to last forever, fucking water cool that shit. Yeah. Just fucking balls to the walls, cut holes in the case, and strap a water cooler from a PC onto it. That shit will last forever. <laughs> yeah. Like, that shit will fucking work. <laughs> we got a message. We just we just turned we just sent some Pokemon to the professor so he could turn them into Poke Paste. <laughs> Finally. How else would you make glue, Derek? Come on. Or erasers. Which are delicious, by the way. <laughs> the fact that that's how like glue is made is actually kind of terrifying. Yeah, it's um, it can do be done with more than just horse. It's just horse works really well. It makes a really good paste. That's really good for glue. <laughs> There's a show. It's called Centaur World, mm -hmm. and it's all about centaurs, and the main character's a horse. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, it's that's glue. It's made from horse bits. And all the centaurs who were just bathing in the glue are like... <gasps> yeah, it's, um... Yeah, um, so what it is is it's, um... Horse flesh, like their skin layer. Yeah. You, like, dry it out to a, the part where it's, like, you know, almost like a jerky. Yeah. But it's not jerky because it's not meat, it's the skin. Yeah, it's horse um, skin. Yeah, uh, it can be done with horse skin if you really wanted to. Um, and, uh, then you boil it until it turns into a goop. Yeah, I've, I've heard. And that's what glue it's is. It's pretty weird. Yeah, that's what glue is. It's literally boiled to a goop horse skin. Which is kind of gross when you think about <laughs> it. No, what's gross is that they make gum out of fucking horse, too. Yeah. So, you know. I don't think that it's the same process, but it's probably similar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And erasers. Erasers are also made out of horse. Erasers are the weirdest one. I don't understand how that one works at all, though. I'm going to be neither. fucking honest. I Me really don't know how neither. they do that. <laughs> horses are really good, man. We could use them for a lot of things. Companions, horse riding, glue, whatever it takes. <laughs> horses are one of those versatile... I, I don't know how, why evolution chose it to make, make it this way. <laughs> yeah. What I'm curious is who was the first fucker who was just like, I'm gonna boil his horse skin and see what it makes. <laughs> I imagine that what was happening is he was probably trying to make a stew out of horse stew. 
Yeah. And then he yeah, was just like, this is gross. And he's like, but it's really sticky. <laughs> I can sell this. <laughs> I think I think he was probably chewing it and it got kind of stuck in his mouth. <laughs> Which is kind of gross. <laughs> I can sell this. I can put my face on this. I can move digits with this. I'll call it horse goof. <laughs> It'll sell millions. <laughs> I'll abbreviate it to Galoo. <laughs> No, that's the the second dude who started years later after he went nowhere with it and made no money and died fucking poor in the streets. I'm gonna call Someone else stole his fucking invention and named it Glue, and they were like, "Should we tell people it's made out of horse?" No, 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 no. We don't tell. We don't tell anyone what's made out of. Oh, your charmeleon's dead, Chris. Now you can't use smokescreen anymore. Oh man, that was. I'm not picking my Pokemon. Oh, I guess I am. I have zero control over who That's I. That's absolutely insane. I I just pick the moves. I have no control over what I'm playing, at all. This is honestly the best to play, the best little brother game ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, you're helping. <laughs> I need you to god this coffee cup. This is the best little, little brother game ever. Mm-hmm. You're helping. I'm helping where it's important. In other words, shut the fuck up and push the A button. <laughs> can't interact with NPCs. Can't, can't interact with that. NPCs. Can't interact with Pokemon. Can't pick up Pokeballs. Can't pick your own Pokemon. Your little brother can't fuck you up. It literally is impossible for them to mess you up. My characters seem to have gotten lost. <laughs> it happens. He's a gambling dude. He's a soul man. Do 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 do. Dude, he's a gamer. Dude, I'm a gamer. Dude, I know you're a gamer. <laughs> yeah, I'm a gamer. Cheats on my way frequently. That's not how that acronym works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. That is a throwback to a fucking old controversy that doesn't exist anymore. Which one? It was the pro Jared one. Oh yeah. That like all turned out to be complete fabricated bullshit. That he cheated. Well, that uh, that he was supposedly with that kid. Yeah, the the kid part of it, and like his wife and his girl. Um, I mean. It's up in the air whether or not he cheated before she knew about it. We're never really gonna know that. And honestly, I don't really think it matters at it this cares. point. Yeah, like, I don't really think it matters, honestly, at this point. I just think that point. entire situation that, from my own knowledge, Ross just wanted to be all no part of it. All I know is that Ross was the only one who came out of that a winner. <laughs> yeah, because he was just like, I'm washing my hands of this situation. Yeah, he was literally like, I want no fucking part of this. <laughs> I thought we were, I thought the chart... Charmeleon's... Oh, Charmeleon is dead, but it still can follow us somehow. Well, it's the same way that Eevee can sit on your hat, even though the Eevee was dead. Yes. Somehow I was keeping up with you, even though I couldn't see where I was going. You knew. I was pretty... You knew. I was pretty tight on my part. I bet. Big brain that shit. Was I, like, holding down, or did you somehow hit down, and that caused my um, thing to say no? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I wasn't... I wasn't trying to fuck you up. But now if I can. But if I can. <laughs> I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure I have no control over fucking anything in this game. <laughs> oh, man. I still... Th my favorite thing, though, by far from that, uh... From that whole controversy was just the one... Was just the memes that came out of it. My favorite of which being... Uh, one dude made a post that he was just like... When the JonTron fan base shows up to start... Uh, to start, uh... Controversy? No, it's like when the JonTron fans start to pick, to, uh, show up to, uh, pick on Pro Jared, and the image is just from JoJo that's just, I wasn't expecting the Third Reich to show up! <laughs> I loved that one. <laughs> that one legitimately uh, got me. Okay, All right. good call here. Yeah, with that, we'll pick it up in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.